All right. All right. What's up, please? How's it going? I'm good, man. Hanging out. Just had a nice little vacation. I'm back home. Oh, nice. I haven't seen you for a little while. And I was uh, I was thinking a little bit before we hopped on, the last time I saw you was at a show you played with the National in Ogden, Utah, which was great. But there was a really funny thing that you said there, which was that you were playing Utah three times this year. Yeah, I played Utah three or four times in the last year. Yes, that that area, Ogden and Salt Lake. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you've got to be the only artist that's not from Utah to have done that. Maybe, maybe, yeah. And even for a lot of Utah artists, I don't know if I would recommend playing Utah four times. <laughs> I, I grew up in Salt Lake. You know this. I saw. I mean, I saw so many killer shows when I was there in high school. But you know, it's also a good place to leave. Yeah, no, I feel you, dude. You know, Brandon Flowers came to a show that we were playing with um, Lucy Dacus the first time I played there, and I was like, "Dang, I forgot that this is his hometown." You know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm sure there's some new people here and some super fans, but we got to talk about the album for a minute. Um, Farm to Table. We're celebrating it with this show. You recorded it. You wrote it. You produced it. You did everything. How was it? <laughs> it was yeah, honestly. It's it it was it kind of reminded me of like something I love about music is like when it all just happens fast and you're like, wow, what a gift, you know, like I've worked on a lot of projects in my life and it's rare that they just come together so seamlessly and farm the table from its early iteration to it being completely just mixed and mastered was like it felt easy. You know, it was like a breeze to do and it felt good to make. It's amazing. Well, it sounds incredible. And um. I'm going to, I mean, we got to talk about this show that's about to air in a minute. And spoiler alert, I've seen it. It's dope. Um, I'm sad that I wasn't there, but um, but it's incredible. And this was on the release day, right? On June 17th, the day the album came out. Yeah, yeah. Um, the day before we played on, on TV and then, you know, we walked into the Getty and played there and great turnout. Um, it was a really special night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this beautiful, iconic place. It sounds incredible. My, my question, I, I suppose it's a question and a comment. I mean, the band, who I've seen many times, is just so sick. It's so good. The song sounds so amazing. It really feels like they're like, I don't know how to say this. Like, it's not like people playing a song. It's a band. It's a unit. Like, it really sounds like you guys are in the music, and that really shows in this video. Is that something you've sort of worked to do? Or is that just the band being really good and playing together a lot? Or how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it's kind of the goal. You know, I grew up, I always played in bands, you know, like country band, jazz band, hardcore band, punk band. I was always a part of a band. Yeah. And now that the band's mine, it's hard for me still not to want it to be a band, you know? And so most of the people in the band are people I've played with for many, many years. Some people more than five years, more than 10, you know? So um, I guess whenever we're playing together, it feels like we've been playing together forever. Um, and so when we bring new people in and they slide into the existing pocket, the pocket just thickens, it get deepens, you know? And right. so that's, uh, that's the goal, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's working. Yeah, thanks. Um, there's a big headline tour this fall. Where are you most excited to play? Uh, most excited to play in DC, where I live. We're playing- oh, the 930 Club, and that's been a dream place to headline, but close second would be the Bowery in New York. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. psyched for that show. Yeah. I've seen. And that's not your only New York show, though, right? You got to have, you got to hit Brooklyn, too. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing the Bowery and elsewhere back to back, which will be nice. Last time we played in New York, we played the Mercury Lounge back to back, and that was funny. That was, that was oh, good. That's right. That was two shows in one night, right? Yeah. That was two in one night. Yeah. That was fun. That was the first time I met yeah. Martin Mills. Oh, that's right. I think yeah. I introduced you guys. Yeah, he was at the show. I was like, who is this guy? Yeah. <laughs> Are you playing? Uh, is there any place you haven't played that you're playing on this tour? Yeah, I'm sure there. Oh, I, I haven't played down south much. You know, um, I'm excited because we'll get to play in North Carolina. I think we're going to play in Atlanta, um, in Nashville, um, places I've traveled a lot to and I've wanted right. to play in, but never really got to play in. So those will be those will be fun for sure. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and you just got back from Europe from your first like proper run in Europe and the UK, right? Yes. Hottest month in the history of Europe in oh, a sprinter man. with no AC cruising across. No, the AC, no ice in all of those countries, right? No, it was, it was, it was, but honestly, I'll never forget it. Super memorable and ended it with two like amazing shows with Phoebe Bridgers in London and 
that the energy was incredible. You know, it was like, because we played that Getty show on the 17th of June. And then at the end of the month, we flew straight to Europe and played it for a month. And I think it was like a great vibe, great thing to do, especially with the album just coming out. Amazing. Yeah. I, uh, I of course follow you on Twitter and you talk about music a lot. You're great about supporting and big upping lots of artists, big and small, lots of artists I've never heard about that I learned about from you. What, uh, what are some of your favorite bands right now or some of your favorite records from this year? Oh, wow. My favorite band right now is Soul Glow. It's on my list, too. Soul Glow is my favorite band. But Soul Glow has been my favorite band for a long time, so I feel like that's right. kind of cheating. I mean, I used to open for them in, a, in hardcore bands. I played in a hardcore band called Stay Inside like years and years ago. I used to open for Soul Glow. I used to try and join that band. I'd be like, yo, if someone can't make it, like, I'll play drums, I'll play bass. They always signed me. They would never let me in. Ever in, whatever. Yeah, yeah I'll try. I was like, I'll do anything. <laughs> I'll, I tried. I've tried to like produce records for them. Anything I could do, you know. Um, but we're all just friends, and like, you know, I just love what they do. Um, other artists, I'm loving Donna Masal. They put out an EP in like early this year. It was like a five song EP. They did what Sega Bodega, um, and it's incredible. It's like one of my favorite releases of the year. They have a song on it called Insecure, which is kind of like a James Blake kind of like low tempo gorgeous right. song you know um that i've been trying to recreate and i can't because it's very good <laughs> yeah and you're also i mean you you produce a lot of other artists too right you're recording people i don't know when you find the time to do all this but yeah i mean literally next week i'm going to new york to finish a record with um someone named lou tides they were one of the singers in here we go magic they're sharon vanetton's right. side man now right. um if you see a tall blonde woman on keys and guitar singing perfectly that's teeny um and i'm finishing her record next week and there's a bunch of other records that i'm kind of poking around and next year i'll jump into more than i could this year which would be nice brad mm -hmm. um last question before we get into this show this is this is one of my one i'm really curious about i mean i i've i've seen you in so many places i watch how you connect with people it's so genuine I meet so many people in so many different cities around the world who say, oh, I know Bartiz, you work with Bartiz. Yeah, I know Bartiz. Like it happens everywhere. I'm curious who you haven't met that you want to meet. Blake Mills. That, really? That, that feels, I mean, <laughs> that feels extremely possible. That could happen today. I would love to meet Blake Mills. I, just, okay. I, think, I mean, I love their music. I love everything they do. One of my favorite guitar players to watch and like an amazing producer. And, yeah. you know, I'd lo love to meet them one day. That'll be nice. I bet, it, I bet it happens before the end of the year. That's, that's I, a good one. I hope so. We'll see. I'll be in LA a couple times, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. um, well, should we jump into this show? I, I want to watch it. People want to watch it. Yeah, wanna, let's, do, let's, let's jump into do an it. Intro? You need to introduce it. Yeah, okay. Um, yo, this is my band, Barty Strange. Um, we're playing all of Farm to Table and a couple deep cuts from other releases I've put out too, so I hope you love it. And thank you for watching. Thanks, everybody.